Hi there, Loy Masudo. It's me and you from LoyMasudo.com. Who's Loy Masudo? Think personal branding. Okay, I'm, I'm going to give you my thoughts about this US boss who fires 900 employees over Zoom. Now, let me warn you, you might not like my opinion. The reason being is I'm not one of those who believes, oh, you know, this is so bad. This is so evil. Oh, he should have empathy or he should have sympathy or he, he should, uh, you know, they celebrate their Christmas, the poor thing. No. I will give you more or less a logical uh, analysis of my understanding and I'll tell you what he did right and what he did wrong. Feel free to let me know your views. I, you, you know me, I, I appreciate discussion, debate and disagreement. Okay, So I'll read out the article and I'll insert my, the bits of my opinion and finally I'll give my conclusion. Okay, Links are put down below. So the first one. Uh, U.S. boss fires 900 employees over Zoom. This is a BBC article. The boss of the U.S. firm has been criticized after he fired 900 star of his staff on a single Zoom call. Now, firings are normal. Okay, it's very normal to fire employees. It's very normal to lay off people. Okay, but he has been criticized because he fired them over a single Zoom call. And I watched that video. I don't want to take it maybe because of whatever issues. Uh, so... You know, what he did is he took a recording and he sent it to those 900 employees. Okay, so what it says here, if you are on this call, you are part of an unlucky group of being laid off, said Vishal Garg, Indian born, Indian born. You know, we are always celebrating Indian born is a Twitter CEO, Indian born is Microsoft CEO, Indian born is some other CEO. So Indian born is a, another idiot. Okay, chief executive of mortgage firm better.com. They should not name the company better.com it should be worse.com or stupid.com that should be the name given that he is the CEO uh, my gut feeling says he is going to get terminated very soon uh, for damage control okay anyway on a call later uploaded to social media see this is another mistake when you put anything online video your thoughts a link a share yeah you uh, you must have seen that uh, one uh, congressman or something in the United States posed with his entire family with guns for Christmas. I mean, you need to have uh, some amount of, uh, you need to be a little stupid, you know, like uh, Forrest Gump, I'm watching that movie, it's a great movie, you need to see it again. Uh, stupid is what stupid does, you know. Um, it's, yes, you are, it's a free country, yes, you're free to do. He could even pose with a dildo with his entire family, having dildos up their rear end. That's okay, that's freedom. Okay, but common sense comes into play, especially when you are a public figure, especially when you are trying to appeal to people. Now, I'm pretty sure he must have thought before doing this. I'm pretty sure he must have thought, oh, if I do this, I'll get a lot of people who support guns. They will vote for me. This is a strategic move. But sometimes that strategic move that you do can backfire. And this is one of those stupid moments like this guy. I'm sure what he must have thought or his advisors must have told him, um, if you send with a Zoom call, you know, people will be like, it's uh, your, uh, you know, communicating one to one or your community. No, it's fucking stupid. It's absolutely stupid. It's like in uh, UAE, Emirates Airlines, uh, what they had was before when times were good, they were having parties and celebrations and calling the staff and celebrating days and all that. And when recession started to hit, you know, they always have information far ahead in advance. Uh, I know it because my girlfriend worked there. Okay. They called all the people. Just imagine a few months ago, they called them a few months before that. They called them in Hyatt Regency in Dubai, which is like a premier five star hotel. And they give them a party and give them gifts and all that. And three months later or three months or four months later, they call them in a quite sober, somber kind of uh, event and they just said uh, due to cuts, we'll have to, um, you know, uh, transfer you from our visa to another company. So basically you're being terminated and being given to another company that is outsourcing people where the benefits will not be there. People are literally falling down and crying with tears, you know, typical, especially when you are an employee mentality person and believe, oh, I give you years of my life and you have to give me years of your life. No, that's all bloody shit. Yeah, I know this because when my stepfather, who worked for 25 years, he got terminated. Okay, he got terminated like this, you know, just like this. And he went to the boss and he was crying and saying, oh, you know, how can you terminate me? I give you the best years of my life. The boss, British boss, he said very intelligently, you didn't work for free. 
I never asked you to work for free and you never worked for free. You got paid, but I worked extra hours. I worked seven days a week, even though my contract says five days. And I worked uh, instead of eight hours, I worked 12 hours. He's, his response was, who the hell asked you to work 12 hours? You're inefficient. That's why you work 12 hours. I pay you for eight hours. You work for eight hours. See, this is how they play the game. What I'm trying to tell you is you need to be bloody smart. You need to be bloody intelligent. You need to take personal responsibility of your life, not the, the problem is people use emotions and feelings and think, oh, he, if I work hard, oh, he will love me so much. Oh, he'll give me promotion. No, fuck you. It's, it's a game of politics. It's who kisses whose ass. You know, like uh, Americans have this, oh, I love to eat ass. You know, disgusting as it sounds. This is exactly what the politics in the office environment is. They will be nice to you. They'll be sweet to you. They will give you, uh, you know, a cheap paper with a printout or oh, certificate of appreciation or oh, they'll give you a gold watch and all that. It's because they don't want to increase uh, overheads by giving you what you truly deserve. That is a salary. Nobody owes you anything. It's you. It's you who have to who has to take the responsibility to be smart to ensure when you're getting paid, you market and sell yourself, you network with others and you don't stay in a company for very long. You move like this, you know, those days where you work 30 years in one company and retired with that one company, those days are long gone. Today, you should work for a person for the number of hours or for a project. And when the contract gets over, thank you very much. Bye bye. That's how it should be. The problem is people are looking for security. They're looking for longevity. And when they come, they'll come relax. Why do you think people come and relax in their seat and talk to, hey, would you like a cup of coffee in the pantry? Let's have, and when they sip coffee, oh, you know, how's the market? Oh, it's pretty good. And the water cooler, they, they think it's home. They think it's family. No, it's not family. It's not home. Yes, there are some organizations where the CEO gives Oh, I give $70,000 of my salary every month to people for free. I give them $100 free gift. I give them gift vouchers. <laughs> good, good, good. Hey, fantastic. Good. You're charitable. But that is not the way to run a business. If you're doing that for a strategic, see business, you have to keep business separate from emotions and feelings. You have to be, See, Steve Jobs, for example, Steve Jobs is not known for his love and compassion and kindness. Elon Musk is not known for his love, compassion, kindness. Jeff Bezos, Jack Ma, these guys are not known for the, oh, he loved me. He was charitable. Oh, he was like a father figure to me. No, they are known for being aggressive. So if you want to be that kind of leader that loves and hugs people on, on your bosom and gives them your breast for fresh milk of love, fine, you can do that. Give the milk up and give the milk down also. That's up to you. But if you want to play business, you want to make money, you need to keep a relationship, just business strictly. Because remember this, when an employee wants to sue your ass, when an employee wants to take advantage of you, he will bloody take advantage. And what we are assuming here is the CEO is bad, management is bad, employees are good. If you're a businessman, you would know for a fact employees can be really rotten to the scum. You know, they can really be bad if they want to be bad. Most of them get a salary. You think they give you 100%. At the same time, the employer, you think the employer is your friend. He loves you and he's whatever he's paying you, he's going to squeeze out 100 times more than you. Look. What I want you to keep in mind is we live in a dog eat dog world. It's survival of the fittest. If you're looking for this kind of sense of entitlement, I love you, you love me. Oh, we are brother, sister, we are family. No, you're in dream world aqua park. Okay, that's what I can tell you. So then this idiot, this Indian born idiot, okay, Indian born or Indian origin idiot. He said, last time I did this, I cried. Mr. Garg told his stuff. Oh. <laughs> he must have cried. I'm sure he must have felt emotional because it's the first time maybe he's terminating people. That's why he's, he's not experienced to know what to do properly. So he cried. He must have felt guilty. But now, since he's got used to it, it's like the first time you have sex. You, you feel like, oh, oh, your heart is beating. Oh, this is true love. But after you have sex a couple of more times, then it becomes like you can have sex with anyone. So in the same way, he was a virgin when he did it the first time. So now he feels, oh. I cried the first time. Now I'm not crying. Okay. Then they're just taking, see, look at the way they're taking the news. They're cherry picking lines. So it's not the full flow of the content. So here it is another line. I wish the news was different. I wish we were thriving. He said this time his tone was measured and he referred to the notes on the desk in front of him. Well, obviously it has to be scripted. He can't say from the heart, you know, just keep talking. So 
some of the journalists they like to cherry pick okay fine uh, but you know i'll i'll put the blame on this idiot this fucking idiot shouldn't have done this first he shouldn't have used a video second is he shouldn't have sent this to people because obviously people record and they put it on social media next one is when you when you're giving a message don't bloody read your notes man what a fuckity fuck you are man. at least when apple does its presentations they do speaking to the camera ha ah, ah, how are you the technology that this mx chip and all that stuff okay mr garv said his staff performance and productivity and market changes lay behind the mass firing of what was 15% of bettercoms better.com's workforce he did not mention the 750 million cash infusion better.com received from investors last week well they received because maybe they are desperately wanting to expand cut down their overhead so i don't know why they're twisting this better.com's chief finance officer kevin ryan told the bbc having to conduct layoffs is gut wrenching especially this time of the year yeah well it's gut wrenching any time of the year beat christmas new year birthday see look here they are talking oh it was their christmas time it was a new year well what if it was in middle of the month what if it was during summer vacations what if it was before someone's birthday uh, you know wwe wrestling they terminated cm punk um i think on the day of his marriage on the day of his marriage shit happens man okay empathy matters and frank uh, franky franky f r a n c k chief executive of uk's chartered management institute criticized the way the staff was fired uh, of course you can talk anything you want okay anyway bad managers will fire people badly whether virtually or in person she told bbc bro i'm sure she must be the award winning good manager but the callous manner in which this was conducted no it was not callous it was stupid it was dumb okay uh, this is not callous this is normal this is the way it should be done you fired thank you very much bye bye in fact what's the mo uh, movie moneyball moneyball uh, when um, brad pitt you know brad pitt has this new guy what is it? jonah jonah hill he is supposed to terminate so he tells him how do i terminate do i talk to him hi how do you know just you fired bye thank you that's it okay the callous man in which this was conducted magnified by the fact that it was done in virtual was quite callous what do you expect call each and every person 900 of them each one sit one hour so 900 hours well fucking shit she is talking we know that in the pandemic it is empathy that matters no in the pandemic it is survival of the fittest that matters mr garth's management style has been criticized before after an email that he sent to staff was obtained by forbes last year see now they'll dig up this is how the social media is they'll dig up what you said even 11 years ago okay uh you're too damn slow you're a bunch of dumb dolphins <laughs> dolphins are not dumb yeah so stop it stop it stop it stop it right now you are embarrassing me yeah well must have been a figgy faggy uh, stupid slow uh, mofo employee so if you are a bum you will be called a bum okay jemma dale lecturer in employment law in business school liverpool who is not a ceo or anyone successful other than being a lecturer of john moore's university in uk which is highly reputed is there's no way to lead an organization you bloody lead an organization and show before blabbering a mass firing then you'll say lawyer what about you yes i've led an organization small one but i did it pretty well and i made good money and for myself and the company employees they were paid normal okay mass firing like this would not be legal in the uk in the uk that is why productivity in the uk is very <laughs> that's why uk is you know <sighs> yeah. they are a bunch of self entitled morons you know why dubai why saudi why all these people are places are going because they exploiting people when will you understand this an organization successfully grows not when it loves all the employees through their bosom and Uh, like what was that uh, uh, zappos zappos is a great book uh, is a great organization they actually pay you to leave the organization and they treat you like kings but not every company can do that F simple you run a business and you hug your employees to their to your bosom and so she try employing indian employees oh you'll enjoy that if you employ western employees they actually at, uh, at least they sue you for millions Indian employees, they'll take advantage of you left, right, and center. Even if you give them a birthday gift, they'll be like, "Thank you very much." But behind your back, they'll be like, "What cheap shit is this?" Okay, that's how it is. I know, I know their mentality. I have been one myself. I've mixed around with laborers. I've mixed around with different nationalities. I know how they think. Like, if you get an Arab guy, he'll say, 
يا اخي اي كانت ورك الله الله خلي يو هاف تو جيف مي بونس بونس بليز 3 مانث 6 مانث بونس اي اي هاف تو كم ليت اي كان اونلي ورك فيو اور 2 3 اور يو هاف تو باي مي 10 تايم 20 تايم مور سالري ذان انديان بيكوز ذس از ماي كونتري يو ويل كم تو نو ذات وانس يو ترافل تو ذا ميدل ايست ان كيس يو دو نوت نو اوكي it could harm the firm as well as the staff she said that existing employees will look to how the company treats people as a signal to how it treats them in the future okay uh yes there are many people in the company now who will be like thinking what the fuck is going to happen next but it's kind of good because it'll keep them at the edge and they will of course look for other opportunities but that is only if they are not happy okay if they are comfortable if they are getting good salary and if they know fuck i'm not going to get another job they will not leave you know most of the people they very afraid because they know they will not get another job but people in america you know it's like oh i'll sit at home unemployment benefits are great yeah why should i work that is how it is the problem in usa is they they have made them lazy they are a lazy lot why should you bloody work when you can get paid by the government not to work try very simple very simpler you see people in the west oh climate change or oh, animal welfare or oh, protest or oh, this and that and have you seen people in china india or pakistan or bangladesh they do that no because the government doesn't give a fuck you need to survive by yourself you need to really slog it out nobody is going to give you a free lunch and that is good because then it keeps you at the edge it makes you mentally physically emotionally strong you <clears throat> you don't have time for bullshit man This is the problem with today's world. They just want self and the woke culture, cancel culture. Oh, you're offending me and all that bullshit. Okay. Uh Miss Miss Frankie also suggested it could affect Betcom's future business. Uh if they give a shitty product, yes, short term they will have a uh, you know kind of uh, PR disaster, but long term if they provide good service, great value, nobody gives a fuck. Like for example, if even Nike has sweatshops, Apple has sweatshops. They take advantage of Uh, people in third world countries who gives a fuck nobody gives a fuck you'll still buy an iphone i'll buy an iphone i don't give a fuck how you manufacture it and here's another thing you're complaining of sweatshops just because i bought that up try you know in these sweatshops tell them fine okay we'll not pay you this low salary you can go work some other company they'll not leave because at least they're being employed this american western mentality oh sweatshops they're being being paid less salary guess what in third world countries this salary that they're getting they will be thanking allah jesus lord ganesha shiva amun ra lord zeus everyone else okay um g viz if they treat their employees this way i wonder how they'll treat their customers no they'll treat their customers good because they are focused on money they are not here to impress the employees you miss franky is not a uh, entrepreneur she is just a what a lecture what a lecture or what, what the hell is she she must be some small piddly company's uh, ceo or something yeah chief executive of uk chartered management institute must be a billion dollar company or some sorts anyway this is what i have to say see the bottom line is this i think people have to stop being self entitled people have to stop being oh my feelings are hurt oh christmas is coming on oh, new year i want to be with my family and enjoy a nice day no fuck you whether christmas new year your birthday celebration someone died in your family uh, you, you know communion confirmation whatever even if it's your wedding day nobody gives a flying fuck you have to just work for money work i give you the best you give me the best bye bye you're not married to me i'm not married to you i don't owe you anything that is how the real world works this kind of oh poor employees <laughs> this bullshit okay this bullshit only works in a self entitled world hardcore business people and successful individuals don't give a fuck to all this the only mistake that this idiot has done this garg vishal garg the strategy putting out a fucking video giving you people ammunition so he can be the poster child for a dumbass ceo this is what he has said he should have just terminated and kept the fuck quiet this very fact that he put it as a video on social media now he will get bamboo up his you know steel studded bamboo he's going to have lot of pain Ugh, he can't sit down for a couple of days i wouldn't be surprised if he loses his job which anyway he does deserve for being stupid having said that this is the reality of life so let me know your thoughts do you think i'm right do you think i'm wrong i'd love to hear your thoughts and trust me you wouldn't want a boss like me okay having said that just me signing off you guys take care
Put your comments down below. I don't censor them. Take care. Are you fed up of life? Earning a pathetic salary, working long hours, having an ungrateful boss, facing office politics, the constant fear of losing your job, and after paying rent, groceries, shopping, and children's expenses, you were left with hardly any savings. Is this the life you dreamed of? Or do you wish to change your life forever? Meet Loy Macedo, the world's number one personal branding coach. He will help you identify the real you. Position and sell yourself by getting the job of your dreams and make good money anywhere in the world. If you do not believe me, Google his name, Loy Macedo, and you will find 2 million web links online and over 200 recommendations from very happy clients. So the question is, do you want to change your life? If yes, then contact Loy Macedo www.loymacedo.com Who is loymacedo.com? Thinkpersonalbranding.com What are you waiting for? Do it now!